Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. As you can see, I'm not exactly doing the norm. Uh, Nintendo finally released the Nintendo Direct like a long time after their last general one. Um, I wanted to react to this. Originally I was going to do a gaming video, but I slept through me trying to live stream this, so I'm like, you know what, I'll record my reaction instead. So, that being said, let's press play and go ahead and get this started with. Here we go. What do you got in store for us today? Please note, due to COVID-19, okay, so this, this information is still off. Release dates may be changed, altered, things could happen. I think the music's a little bit different from the last time. Then again, it's been so long that I don't even, the last one was like in March of last year. Not actual, Uh, Xenoblade Chron- no, that's not Xenoblade. What is this? The ship kind of made me think of Already, Xenoblade. Tyra just disappeared. Okay. That was random. <laughs> oh, wait. No, this I think this is something new. I don't know why I thought that this seems like this seemed kinda like a remake of something at first. I don't know if it actually find her anywhere. I don't think so. What is this? It was as if she vanished off the face of Ulrich. Without a trace. Yeah, that's a problem. Where? You, whatever it takes. That's motivation. Uh. Where you were. Tyra! What? Sorry, that's... Oh no. I couldn't tell you. Because I got an invitation to join Snap. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Pyra, oh my god. What is it? What is she originally from? I forget, what is she originally from? I recognize this, but I don't know why. Oh goodness. Dude, that's awesome. This is the reason I say don't fight with me. <laughs> it's a video game character, yeah, but still. It's a pretty good depiction of what uh oh. Let me handle this. What? Oh my goodness. Whoa! Hello. <laughs> What is she? I, I seriously recognize these names, but I don't remember what from. What is this from? Oh, see ya, Daisy. Ridley. Samus, and what was that? Sephiroth? Oh, goodness. What, what are these characters from? Yeah, this is gonna bug me. Um together. Nothing can stand our way. Quite respectable, aren't they? Well, once. Oh, I missed it, everybody. Mind if I watch your This wife. definitely has final fit. Is this like Tales of Is this a Tales of thing? Is that why I recognize this? It is, I think it is Xenoblade, actually. Yep. Ow. It is Xenoblade Chronicles. I was right the first time. I knew it. Well, the, the sequel, but still. 
go easy on you. Ooh, fighting me. Oh boy. That's why I recognize I knew it. It is Xenoblade. Dang. Yeah, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Cool. That one I actually like. Hello. Hello, everyone. It's been a while. Yeah, no kidding. Senior Takahashi from Nintendo. I'd be shocked if you weren't from Nintendo. <laughs> Last year, we delivered some news through a series of Nintendo Direct mini presentations. Yeah. However, we haven't been able to present a Nintendo Direct in this style for some time. Unfortunately. I'm happy to share this Nintendo Direct with you all today. We appreciate your continued support. Okay, what you just saw was the reveal trailer for the newest fighter in the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game, Pyra and Mithra. They originally appeared in the Xenoblade Chronicles series as Rex's two-in-one ally. Please yeah. look forward to seeing their moveset in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. This fighter releases in March. So we hope you'll stay tuned. Nice. Just a bit longer. All right, let's continue with our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. What do we got? Oh, Fall Guys. <laughs> fall, freaking Fall Guys. I thought that was already on Switch, wasn't it? Or is this like an update? This music, I, I like the music in this. I guess it wasn't. I thought it was, but I guess not. Skills to the test in two classic murder mystery games. Oh, I know what this is. Famicom Detective Club, the missing heir. Oh my gosh. Club, the girl who stands behind. I two actually deep cuts from Nintendo history are coming to North America for the first time. In a way, I actually remember these. For the Nintendo Switch this is one of those things where it was for the Famicom specifically, but I still was like, hey, I'm gonna give it a shot. Thanks to the pawn shop I always go to. As you dive into these deep narratives set in Japan. I actually enjoy these a lot. Same the reason I enjoy things like Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Wealthy family in a haunted village while dealing with amnesia. Okay then. Not the only case to crack. You're in a classroom alone. You hear a voice behind you. You turn around and bang. In the other game. You'll investigate a supernatural rumor after a mysterious death to three students from a sinister nightmare. Interrogate suspects and hunt for clues to piece together these chilling conundrums. Oh, goodness. Can you this is like Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Actually, it was and is. Help me. Get me out. But the blood-covered girl is right in front of you. Okay. Cover the deadly truth in Famicom Detective Club The Missing Heir and Famicom Detective Club The Girl Who Stands Behind. I might try one of those again. It's been a long time since I played a game like that. Oh, really? Okay. We'll have to get it soon. Maybe. What battles? This is kind of giving off Okami vibes to me, actually. But Okami's been out for a while, so... I mean Okami HD. Uh, is this Dynasty Warriors? No, no. Hmm. Mitsushi. No, no. This is... Yes, it is. This is Dynasty Warriors. Well, Samurai Warriors. Same development team. Dude, hey, I love, I love, I love Koi Te Tecmo. I dive into the history of the Sengoku period as the series now shines the spotlight on Nobunaga Oda and Mitsuhide Akechi. Character designs and visuals have been revamped for this installment. Unleash high octane moves in a dude. I thousand battles. <laughs> These hack and slash games they make are fantastic. They are golden. Summer 2021. The fast world. Oh. Huh. 
after 20 long years, Legend of Mana featuring remastered HD graphics is coming to Nintendo Switch. Oh, they screwed up the remake of... They screwed up the remake of, um... Secret of Mana. Please don't screw this up. Don't screw this up. You'll acquire special items called artifacts. Place them on the map to bring towns, dungeons, and other lands to life. This one actually, honestly, this one looks a lot better, actually. This one looks like it was, like, a lot more thought through and... Because the animation style is still pixelated, to a degree, which is nice. It reminisces to that point, but... Or take a break from adventure and rest up at home. Eh. The music has been rearranged for this enhanced version. Mm. between the new arrangements and the original soundtrack. Other I don't know. Including the ability to turn off enemy encounters, as well as the Why would you do that? It ruins the point of the game. Legend of Mana will launch on Nintendo Switch June 24th. Okay, okay. I might get that. What? <laughs> Mario Golf. Wow. I haven't seen this since the N64, well, the GameCube. Study the wind and terrain. Take your time to think things through. Then swing. I love this. I've never played a Mario Golf game, but I love this. Enjoy golfing with familiar Mushroom Kingdom characters. scenery. I don't know, maybe I should give it a shot at some point. Use features on the greens, like a shot gauge, to see how your shot will curve due to slopes. And a that would make sense. You examine a course's terrain. These features can help you ace your shots. Hey! In addition to button controls, you can also use motion controls by holding a Joy-Con controller like a golf club. Gently swing the I mean, that's to normally... Your swing in the game. Letting you easily enjoy the sensation of golfing. That's well, I mean that's kind of already On top of all that, there are several modes with new elements that truly bring the heat to What Mario in the golf. world of what? <laughs> Speed golf. Here what? It's always your turn. Everyone tees off at the same time, then you'll race through the course to reach your ball. I feel like that's not that doesn't feel accurate I'm sorry that does not feel accurate that is kind of funny though I'll say that that is pretty funny and special shots to beat the competition oh did we mention story mode as a what you'll start out as a rookie and develop your I mean it makes sense but it's mushroom kingdom characters Level up with I don't know, I might give it, I, this reminds me of, um, the Tiger Woods games. This actually reminds me of those. I might give this game a shot. You can also use your me in versus play. Put your golfing skills to the test. And no, I don't think I'd really, I don't know. We'll see. June 25th. Pre-orders begin on Nintendo eShop after this presentation. Nice. The latest game in the Mario Golf series adds new gameplay for multiplayer modes, as nice. well as the familiar golf gameplay with easy to learn controls. Yeah, I, can, I mean, it's not that hard to figure out. Please look forward to this game on Nintendo Switch. The DC Superhero Girls are here to save the day. Hi, everyone. My name's Barbara Gordon. That's adorable. AKA I'm always inventing new gadgets to fight crime. Oh goodness. This makes this makes me think of the uh she's super strong and has heat vision. Plus super breath. Never mind. And let's not forget the woman, an Amazonian warrior who wields the lasso of truth. Along with our friends Green Lantern, Bumblebee, and Zatanna, we fight evil supervillains to keep our city safe. Except you know, everyone's female. We also have our school lives, and trust me. There's never a dull moment at Metropolis. Is that Harley Quinn? Sometimes it'd be nice to get out of class and do some shopping downtown with my besties. Ooh, and maybe take some photos to share on Superstar Post while... <laughs> Any fashionista would love this. Nice. Ooh, and I definitely want to hit up Sweet Justice later. Uh-oh, something really bad is threatening the city. No one could have seen it coming. But oh, yeah, totally. Count on us to answer no matter what. 
just gotta make sure no one figures out our secret identities. Hmm. DC Superhero Girls Teen Power heroically stores on the Nintendo Switch June 4th. That's an interesting time. Oh boy. Hello there. I'm AG, uh, producer of the Legend of Zelda series. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you saw me and thought there might be news about the sequel to the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game. Unfortunately, we don't have anything to share right now. We apologize. Eh. Development is proceeding smoothly and we should be able okay. to bring you some new information this year. Okay, that's now, good to know. We'll have to ask you to wait just a bit longer. It's fine. What do you got? While you're all waiting, however, this Legend of Zelda game will be coming to Nintendo Switch. Please take a look. Which one? Oh! <laughs> Skyward Sword! Of all the Zelda games, Skyward Sword! <laughs> Actually, it'd probably do better. I hated playing that game on the Wii. It was so janky. I really hope they benefited out of it. I really hope they bettered it. It would be really nice to see. Because it was, again, it was so janky on the Wii. Like, I tried playing through it. I did a let almost did a Let's Play of it, but there was a point where I got so enraged because of how crappy the controls were that I just deleted everything. <laughs> I really gear him is weird. Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Dang. What you've just seen is the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Okay. Yeah. Well, this obviously. Game originally released in 2011 on the Wii console, and now it's coming to Nintendo Switch. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword featured a control scheme in which players would use the Wii Remote Plus controller as a sword yeah. and the Nunchuck controller as a shield. With the increased processing power of the Nintendo Switch system, the controls here are smoother and even more. Thank intuitive. freaking God! <laughs> we've recreated the controls for the sword and the shield here by having the player hold two Joy Con controllers. Well, I hope so. The Joy Con controller in your right hand is the sword. This is what they did for the Wii. This better actually be more accurate this time. The Joy-Con controller in your left hand is the shield. By lifting the controller, you can raise the shield to block enemy attacks. You can perform other actions like using both controllers to wield okay. a bow and arrow. These physical movements add a sense of urgency. And that was a painful boss fight to get through. But we've also made it possible to play the game with button controls to ensure it can be played in handheld mode or on the Nintendo Switch Lite system. After mulling over how to assign different game okay, good. buttons, that is a good improvement. I'll say that much. Tilting the right control stick. Okay, okay. Tilt the stick down when you want to swing the sword downward. Swing to the right, nice. to the left, or diagonally. Just tilt the stick in the respective direction. That. I think the only thing that concerns me is Here's the bow and arrow. That's what was bothering me in the original one. Specially designed Joy-Con. Dude, that is cool. The right Joy-Con controller is themed after the Master Sword, while the left features a Hylian shield motif. <laughs> the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, as the game depicting the earliest story in the Legend of Zelda timeline, details it is, the events. Regardless of how you put it, it's Master supposed to be the first one, yeah. We hope that people who played the original game on Wii and those playing it for the first time will enjoy discovering the origins of The Legend of Zelda. I'll probably enjoy it more on this one just because, like, if they're if they actually. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD launches July 16th. Wait, Following that's Nintendo Direct. You'll be able to pre-order the game on Nintendo eShop, and the specially designed Joy-Con controllers. What? The game's release date okay, the I'm retail. definitely getting this. Already know this, but the regardless. Last original console game prior to the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Yeah, Zelda, actually, and yeah. Still following the established conventions of the Legend of Zelda. However, it gave a glimpse into many features and innovations that would eventually be adopted in the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Even yeah, the like the stamina for yeah. A stamina gauge that depleted as you scaled walls with vines or ramps. Yes, but in my opinion, Even Breath of the Wild did it better. Upgrade here. I hope those of you who've played the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild will give this game a try as well. I think the game would be a lot of fun on the Switch. I think it's just the reason the Wii one was kind of bad was just because of the jankiness of the controls. Please look forward to the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Hmm. 
Well, looking forward to that one, that's for sure. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword has been optimized for Nintendo Switch. It includes intuitive motion controls and button controls by tilting the right control stick. I okay, pretty sh the next game will be our last announcement for today. Please take a look at this. All right, what do you got? Hit us with a banger, man. Uh, canyon. A desert. A dead desert. Nice. <laughs> no, wait, what? Um. What? <laughs> Either, I think, ooh. ooh. <laughs> what? This is an instant buy for me if this is a new Splatoon game. Wait, is this one supposed to be more open world? Maybe not. I don't know. It's all already you can tell it's a the splat bus. If I remember the name correctly, because I think that appeared in this. This is completely normal. <laughs> like we're totally bad here on the splat bus. Like oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is just, yeah. All right, insta buy on my end once it's available. I love Splatoon. What is going on? <laughs> You know what, yeah, I'm down for it. I love Splatoon, I love Splatoon 2. I'm most likely gonna love this one. Back into the ink. Okay, so it's gonna be a while. That's fine. Dang, man. That was a banger of a Nintendo Direct, I'll say that much. Holy freaking cow. What you've just seen is the latest installment in the Splatoon series, Splatoon 3. This game is scheduled to launch in 2022, so it'll yeah. be a while. Understandably so. Tuned for more information at a later time. That's Today, actually cool. Hey, I'm down for it. Nintendo Switch. A variety of games are in development. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> and we look forward to sharing more news with you in the future. Yeah, I'll be looking forward to doing another one of these in the future as well. Dude. Okay. There's a lot to digest here. Oh my gosh. But I, I don't know. I think... Let's begin at 50 minutes. I'm not going to talk too long about this, but... Especially since I'm sure my roommate has a couple things he has to take care of as well, and I don't want to spend too much more time on this. Um. Dang. There's a lot to digest in that. Uh... I'll definitely say a lot of that has piqued my interest. I think the only things that really didn't were like things like Monster uh, Hunter Rise. I never fully got into that. A lot of I'll say this much like the Dice, the Samurai Warriors, the Hyrule Warriors, stuff like that. The Koi Tecmo I had interest in. Uh, definitely the Skyward Sword and Splatoon Three. Those are the ones that kind of stood out to me the most. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Go ahead and. Kind of let it play through while I'm doing this. Talking this, I guess. If it... Pop, there we go. 
Maybe. Well, or the Wi-Fi could suck. I don't know. Anyway. I probably should head off and take care of a couple of different things. Thanks for joining me on this, guys. Uh, if you like this, uh, push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. If you really like this, consider subscribing to the channel because I do reactions every now and then. Uh, game stuff all the time. Anyway, um, speaking of, want to check out all the stuff that I've done? Click the links on the side of my hair here. Otherwise, I'm going to head off, but I hope to see you guys in another video. Bye for now.